Hello, and welcome to Read Us a Story. What shall we read today? How about When a Dragon Goes to School? By Carol Hart and Rosalind Beardshaw. When a Dragon Goes to School When a dragon hears us say... Hooray! We're off to school today! Does she refuse to come inside? Or try to run away and hide? Why no, dragons don't do that. A dragon scampers through the gate, then waves goodbye. She's never late. She shakes the raindrops from her wings, then takes off all her outdoor things and hangs them up nice and tidily. That's just how dragons are, you see. And after she has said, Hello! A dragon knows just where to go. She sits down in her special place, a dragon smile across her face. She's ready to begin the day. These things are just a dragon's way. Then, when it's time to paint and draw, does this young dragon use a paw to decorate her little chair or toss crayons in the air? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon hands the paper out. She doesn't make a mess or shout. She counts the pencils. One, two, three then draws a rainbow carefully and paints it red and green and blue. All dragons love bright things. Do you? At lunch, a dragon is polite and never takes too big a bite. This small kind darling saves a space and extra lunchtime snacks in case a friend would like a tasty treat. Yes, dragons really are that sweet. But in the playground, does she whine or hog the trike and shout out, MINE! Does this small dragon play too rough or march off in a grumpy huff? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon shares her outdoor toys with other little girls and boys. Her dragon dance is so much fun. She's always friends with everyone who wants to join her dragon romp. <laughs> Would you enjoy a dragon stomp? When splashing in the water tree, this little dragon laughs away. And if her playmates are upset because their clothes are getting wet, she'll help them tie their apron strings. All dragons do such thoughtful things. But if the day feels overlong, that's when a dragon might go wrong. So tidy up the classroom then, get comfy in the reading den, and lose yourself inside a book. This dragon loves a story. Look! At home time, does a dragon shout and try to get the books back out or growl and howl with all her might while clinging to the teacher tight? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon knows the day must end, so says goodbye to every friend. She wraps a scarf around her throat and finds her book bag and her coat, then skips out to her family. How perfect! Can a dragon be? And if she roars along the street and stamps her little dragon wheat feet, More school! More school! You'll hear her call. Well, she is a dragon after all. I hope you enjoyed that. That was when a dragon goes to school. And if you did enjoy that, you can always like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks. Bye.